Uh, it's pretty great. I would have to say that this is one of the best jobs that I've ever had in my life. Um, the writing is exceptional. Um, what Dan has crafted out of a family drama, but has made it so suspenseful and playing with time and era and parents and children at the same age, figuring life out at the same time is such a unique perspective on it. But it's really a simple story about people just trying to figure things out. And I think it's incredibly relatable because of its simplicity, you know? Um, this character, Randall, man, Randall's a good dude. Like, Randall requires of me that I be the best dude that I can be in order to play him because I'm not that good of a dude. So it's nice to be him and sort of walk around in those shoes. My wife appreciates it. I think my children do too because you can't help but bring a little residual Randall back home and Randall's okay to bring around. Yeah. Susan Kelechi Watson, who plays Beth, is, is my heart, man. We have such a great time portraying these married people who truly love being married. You know, I, I don't think there's ever any doubt whether or not Beth and Randall are gonna make it. It's just watching how they're going to make it, you know? There's no deal breakers in this marriage. They have the utmost respect for one another and they have so much fun with each other. And I think that parallels the relationship that Susan and I have with one another as well. It's, it's great, and in particular because we are an African-American couple, you know, that is on, you know, network television, and we get a chance to come into many people's homes on a weekly basis. I'm always a fan of showing black love, baby. At the end of season one, Beth and Randall uh, are contemplating the possibility of adoption. Or at least Randall is, and he, he lets his wife know that that's what he's thinking about. And so when we pick up with them season two, it's a few months later on the 37th birthday of the big three, they're moving full swing ahead with this adoption possibility. Um, Randall is gung-ho as he usually is about most things that he sets his mind to, and Beth has her doubts. Not necessarily as to whether or not she wants to adopt, but the way in which they want to proceed. And so here you have two married people with two different conceptions of what this adoption is gonna look like, and you have them slowly coming together to figure out what it looks like for them as a couple. Well, however you come to it, um, you, you appreciate this sort of desire to recognize that you're not in it alone. Meaning like, I think some, so much of the journey of the big three and their parents has to do with simple decisions that make tremendous sort of reverberations in one's life. And we're all making these decisions to have children, to not have children, how to raise them. Um, do I stay with this job? Do I not? Am I artistically fulfilled? How do I take control of my body? How do I take control of my life? And they're questions that we all ask ourselves but when you're in the midst of life, you kind of feel like you're alone. So when you see other people going through making the same decisions that you're making right now, you're reminded like, oh man, this is happening to all of us. Like, this is us, right? And so the comfort that the audience, I think, feels galvanized in recognizing that they are indeed not alone is something that keeps bringing them back on a weekly basis. We all know what happened to Jack, or at least, I mean, Toby technically doesn't know because he wasn't part of the family, but the kids all know what happened. It sort of informs the way in which we live our lives now. Um, I can tell you that you will find a big piece of that puzzle out in the season premiere. So I can tell you that much. And then other little pieces will fill in the totality of the picture throughout the course of the season. But before the season is done, all the pieces will be put together and you will be satisfied with that question. It will no longer linger into season three. Well, I know there's gonna be a little bit of the exploration of how Beth and Randall came to be a couple, which I'm excited about. I think for this young black man raised by this white family to seek out 
a woman like Beth, who is so much more grounded in her culture than Randall is, seems like a very specific decision on his part, and I'm excited for folks to see how they came together with one another.